user welcome to my channel learning with khatak in the last part of string uh, we just uh, see that how to declare uh, the c style string and uh, string class object <coughs> and then see that how to initialize them uh, the basic difference between uh, both the c style string and uh, uh, string class huh? now in this lecture we want to see that how to input a string from the keyboard <coughs> So, because there are two uh, string, uh, two type of strings that is C style string and uh, uh, string class, huh? uh, then we want to see that how to handle the string input. Huh? Because <clears throat> a string may be consist of a single words. For example, I want to enter hello, or it may be consist of multiple words. Uh, a sentence that is uh, please enter a string, and then I enter a hello word, a complete word, or a two words. Huh? Then how to handle uh, them? Uh, let's start. Huh? So here in this case, I declare two string that is uh, one is C style string and other is a string class. <clears throat> Keep in mind uh, that is a C style string uh, where I declared as character array and this is uh, the string class uh, uh, string uh, that is I declared a string to object or a string to variable of type string. <clears throat> so first I would like to uh, see that how to handle uh, the C style string input if you want to input something or, or if you want to initialize the C style string through the keyboard. Mm -hmm. So look at this. Uh, mm -hmm. So here if you look at this uh, I simply <coughs> uh, print a message on the screen that input string 1 uh, and then if we look at uh, this first uh, let me uh, comment this uh, and then let me do it. Okay now enter string 1 cn string uh, 1. <coughs> And then I just want to display uh, this string uh, that what is input through the keyboard. So if I run this uh, program, then discuss the input. <coughs> okay, if you look at this, uh, enter string 1. So here I entered that hello. So it simply print me string 1 is hello. <coughs> but if I run this program again, to look at the difference now this time I entered hello world but this gave me that string one is hello so it means <coughs> this time C and accept just the hello and uh, world is ignored why happened what happened here <coughs> so keep in mind here we use that C in string cn is an object which ignores everything after the space uh, means if we enter a space inside the string cn will accept the first part before the space and rest of the string after the space will be ignored in this case when uh, the message is print enter string one i entered hello world so hello uh, after hello there is a space so compiler simply ignore everything after the space means compiler here in this case the cn object will accept only the hello and ignores everything after the space this that is world so how to handle this if you want to accept everything inside the string that is a character that is a special symbol that is a space or anything else you must use cn dot get string so this time now i am going to comment the cn and then cn dot get cn get is a built-in function used for a string in c style string it means that except string one up to 20 character means within 20 characters within 20 size limit you can input anything that is you can enter space you can enter a character you can enter a special symbol etc now if i run this program look at this <coughs> this time here i'm uh, again uh, entering that uh, hello world so if we look at this now string one is hello world so it means that when we want to enter string and this string contains maybe a character maybe a space maybe a special symbol or something else c in dot get will accept everything within the limit of 20 means you can input any string having a length of 20 in this 20 length you can input a character a space or something else <coughs> yeah. similarly if you want to now uh, <coughs> want to handle the string class object how to handle them so if you look at this uh, uh, yes now this is the string class again here is see out enter string 2 a simple message will be print 
and then get line uh, okay let me do it here again so first uh, I would like to call it so this is the string again hello world so again world now enter string 2 keep in mind we are dealing with the string 2 now again here I am enter hello world simply string 2 is also displayed simple hello because why we used here a cn a cn <coughs> behave same like on string class string 2 that accept everything before the space and ignores everything after the space so if i comment this and use the get line function now get line is a built in function used for um, string class uh, that is get line means <coughs> accept cn is an object which takes the input stream and then place into the string 2 now this time input stream may contains a character a space a special symbols or anything else uh, get line will simply place them in string 2 and then at the last we displayed that string 2 is the LU, the value what we entered through the keyboard will be displayed here in this case so if we look at this enter string 1 that is hello world and, and uh, look at the string 2 uh, okay sorry sorry mm, I had made a mistake so if I uh, do this I just want to handle the string 2 <coughs> the C style string uh, sorry C++ style string enter string 2 hello world <coughs> space and at the uh, rate of programming now look at this everything is displays hello world and programming <clears throat> so what does it mean if you want to input a single string a single word inside the string you can use cn but if you want to input um, a combination of character with the space with the sp special symbols you have you must use the get line character with the string class uh, and similarly you will use cn.get with the c style string if you want to put uh, combination of corrector with the space with the special symbol and so on so this is the basic difference between input into string you can input string <coughs> you can input uh, into the C style string and you can input into the uh, string class object in both cases if you want to input combination of character with the space and then uh, some combination of the character you must use the cn.get for C style string and get line for the string class object so uh, in the next uh, in the next lectures we will show that how to pass a c style string and string class object uh, to the function so wait for the next uh, lecture thank you very much